DZY is a Tailwind-based component library that I think works really well for mobile solutions. If you take a look at some of the things that they provide in this video, I'm going to talk specifically about the tab. And let's scroll down. This box tab is what I'm going to work on, but I'm going to deploy it inside of a mobile app. So let's take a look at the app. So this is my application. You can see that I have my three tabs across the bottom. They highlight, which is exactly what I want. And we also can support nested routes inside of a tab. So now I'm on tab one. I go into tab one detail. You see I'm still in the tab and I can still go back. Also, the important thing to realize is that when you do this, that I'm maintaining my routes. So when I'm on tab one, I have this route. When I go to tab one detail, I have this route. And I also can pass parameters into my tabs and you can see the information there. Now let's take a look at how I did it in the code. The whole thing starts with how you set up your browser. Uh, because as, as I said, it was important for me to have routes or paths that I can go to. The demonstration they provide in the document doesn't go into this level of detail. In fact, switching between the tabs is just hiding and showing divs on the same page. So here I kind of uh, incorporated React Router. So you can see kind of this is a common pattern on how React Router is implemented. The important thing to note is the nesting. So we have our root tab element at the top. And then inside of that, we have our pages. So you can see a tab one page, tab two page, and then how we nest the detail page. Some interesting additional things that I did was if I go to my tab root. So here on my tab root, you can see pretty basic, but what I've done here is I have this outlet. And so with the outlet, so what happens is all of this content, everything above the tab bar is one of the pages being rendered in the outlet. And then underneath it, I have the tab bars. I created a tab bar button component, the uh, tab buttons and have it all in one place and styled easily. And then if you take a look at an example page, you can see it's just regular content. So what this does is, like I said, it frees me up from kind of trying to hide and show divs on one page and gives you the flexibility to kind of manage your project with tabs and pages, you know, common patterns that you're used to seeing. And then the other thing is just a navigation. So you can see here on my, ta my tab one page, I have this link that allows me to go to my detail page and you can see how you need to set up the path for the based on the way that the nesting is implemented. And then in the detail page, here's how I get my parameter from the router. So I get the ID and then I can just navigate back. Like I said, just some quick content on how to use Daisy UI.